Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm throwing out another video today because I've seen the summoning events for the weekend. And honestly, it's kind of cool. It's actually kind of nuts. So we, we are going to have the summon rush going on for Armand's fusion. I've been looking at polls that other content creators are posting. And I know a lot of you are going for this fusion. Okay, so we have got a uh, wrong area. We've got a summon rush popping up tomorrow. Yeah. That's normal. That's not, not unusual. And we don't know the points we need for that type of stuff yet. I'll cover that when I see it tomorrow. But alongside the summons that we need to do, there's going to be some events. And uh, I'd say, wow. Like, wow. Some of these events are pretty nuts. So first thing, we've got a bunch of progressive chance champions, okay, in the mix. Um, some really top tier ones. So Let's go through, I guess let's just quickly whiz through them. I'm not going to spend tons of time on them, but uh, first one up is Gordrab. Decent, kind of like mini arbiter, I guess. Reviver, increase uh, attack for your teams. They're really good for arena and uh, can keep you in a, a fight for a long time. Decent speed lead for arena as well. So he's one of the epics. We've got... Rector Draft, who's a decent epic as well. Another Reviver. Is this just a Reviver group? Yeah, I think it is actually. So we've got Rector, who is a good Reviver. Massive healer. Keeps your team moving. Great for Hydra. Great for Bommel as well. She's got this decreased attack as well. Um, yeah, really, really useful Reviver. And then we've got one of the best Revivers in the game. One of the best drop defense epics in the game in Ugo. I mean, Ugo would be massive brilliant hydra champ drop defense plus block buffs on the same ability full team revive here as well the ability to keep herself alive uh she's got a leech as well so nice for some healing but yeah ugo is in there as well so that's the non-void epics and then for the void epics we've got probably one of the most sought after epics in the game in Godseeker and neary makes certainly when you get the higher level souls makes uh, sand devil really easy but even at low level souls you could do sand devil with a support champion you know someone else who's going to do the damage and she's got the unique abilities in her passive and revive so she can revive someone and then revive someone which is super cool the revive the first one is just also really really cool she's a great um epic reviver and then the other one who is also a good epic reviver is god's uh yeah, Asala. Asala the Mourner. Um, she's also bringing an AoE decrease attack. Great for Ice Golem. Brings your revive. She does increase defense and strengthen as well for the team. Uh, yeah, really, really good epics. So they're all good, honestly. They're all decent. Uh, certainly, I think out of the best ones out of those would be Ugo and Godseeker, but still all good. In terms of the legendaries, we've got some crazy ones as well. So Duchess is in there. Yeah, Duchess, one of the best revivers in the game. One of the best arena defense champions in the game. Brilliant for Hydra. Like she's she's well known for being absolutely amazing. Pythian is in there, who is kind of like a similar type of champion, honestly. Revives, um, gives you uh full cleanse and block debuffs. Very, very cool. Healing, cool revives, yeah. Great for arena, great for most content, honestly. Hard carry. Uh, who else is in there? We've got Mighty Uko in there as well. Another great arena champion, great hydra champion, great reviver, brilliant champ. Elva's in the mix. She's been on a ton of 10 times, but she's got a great revive. She's got uh, cleanse. She's got block debuffs, increased speed, brilliant champion. Um, who else is in there? White Queen and Cora's in there. For anyone who didn't pick her up but did pick up the White King, well, damn, you're going to want the White Queen because together they are absolutely nuts. And I've got her now on my free to play. She's carrying my free to play. Really, really good reviver. Um, we've also got, maybe for the first time ever, maybe the first time this has ever happened, Arbiter, Void Legendary, is in the mix. Not that that's that crazy anymore, but still unusual to see her there, I think. I don't think I've seen her there before. Um, who else have we got? Raglin. I'd say Raglin probably needs a buff out of this group, but not a bad reviver, just not a brilliant one compared to the rest anymore. Uh, we've got, where is this one? I think she's an orc. Raka, yeah, Raka here. I don't have her. Pretty cool. Really, really cool visual, by the way. Like, awesome visual. Kind of like a mini Duchess, really, but without that cool passive. 
there's lots going on in her kit, which is great. She's got the cleanse. She's got good buffs. She's got a nice shield. She's just overseen, I guess, because Duchess does the same job. Slightly different job, but a similar job, but probably a bit better because of Duchess's passive. Uh, so really, really good champions in the pool, okay? Now, on top of that, there's going to be an extra, and, and they're all on progressive chance. Remember that, progressive chance. So on top of that, there's going to be an extra legendary event tomorrow for Ancients. Yeah, so Ancient Shards, if you pull gold, you will get another gold. Now, I've had confirmation here. I've, have I had confirmation from someone who actually matters? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know who Cory is, but Cory, she's got a fancy colored name, which makes me think she is a mod of some sort in the main raid discord. I will clarif clarify for you, both boosts will be active at the same times, i.e. times 15 and a 1 plus 1. The first legendary you summon will increases, increase the chances for the extra legendary from times 15 to times 20. So if the first legendary you pull is not your progressive chance legendary, the next one on the one plus one will have increased to a times 20 chance that it would have be the one that you've selected. But the extra legendary will not boost the chances further. So if you pull one that's not your progressive chance and then the extra one is not your progressive chance, you'll still be on a times 20 from that moment on. But it's still pretty nutty. It's still very cool, I think. So I like that. I like the fact that it, they're doubling up. Um, and then we've got... After the extra legendary from Ancients, on Saturday, there's going to be an extra legendary for Sacreds as well. So Friday is Ancients, Saturday is Sacreds, both of them extra legendary events during the Summon Rush, and both of them give you the chance of um, utilizing that progressive chance. So I think... Look, I've got to call it out. I think good job raid. Honestly, they're dropping some packs right now. I think they're they're probably cashing in quite well. Because some of these packs are not bad. <laughs> I mean, if you're a spender or not, that's down to you guys. Like this one feels pretty good. And I've just burnt a load on on these soul stones. And I'm looking at them thinking, there might be a follow-up. Like, there might be a follow-up. How much time we got left on the enhanced souls? Not long. Anyway, do what you want to do. I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> and uh, have yourself a great day. I'll catch you soon.